We designed Firefly to be a tool in your tool chest, to enhance your experimentation, your ideation, and your exploration, and speed up your production workflows without compromising your control or pixel-perfect precision. As I mentioned, Firefly is a family of models. Our first, fam uh, first uh, Firefly model was the imaging model that we released in March. Our imaging model lets you generate and style images simply by typing in a prompt. Today, we're really excited to expand our models to include the Firefly vector model, giving you the power to create I can't wait to get off stage so you can see this demo. Uh, giving you the power to create, style, and edit vectors uh, using a text prompt. You're going to be blown away by this. And the Firefly design model, which gives you the ability to design templates from text prompts that you can edit and perfect in our applications. And removing. I have this photo that I took during our travels, and I want to add a sand path here to direct your eye to the subject. So I'm just making a very rough selection with my nervous hands. And in the all new contextual taskbar, I have generative fill as well as some of these other tools that I use most often. Very great if you're new to Photoshop, this is super helpful. Click on generative fill and let's type sand path and generate. Now, generative fill is taking a look at my prompt and the pixels around my selection, the way I overlapped onto that sand beach to grab some of that texture. Oh, and there we go. Look at that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Three sand paths to choose from. You know, it's always so hard to do from scratch. So that's generative fill for adding. It is also a super powerful remove tool. So let's do that too. All right, making a selection over these bungalows, just like that, and grab these as well. And this time, I will leave the prompt blank to tell generative fill I want to remove. I want to make sure I don't have any of myself there. There we go. All right. And notice how I have these palm trees overlapping on these bungalows. If I were to try to clone stamp that out, I mean, we all know how much of a nightmare that would be. I'd have to paint all the water texture back in. I'd have to worry about, oh, look at this. This is so good. <laughs> So I have a couple of images that I got from Adobe Stock. I love this forest, moss, rock, land going on, as well as these trees and the lighting. Now, I need to blend these two images together. And this is super simple, just making a rough selection here. And leave the prompt blank again, telling it I want to blend. Now, normally, I do this with a layer and a layer mask and like paint that in by hand. I find it super relaxing. You know, It's really fun, but we don't have time for that today. So we'll just let Generative Fill help us out a little bit. Oh, look at that blend. Gorgeous, amazing. I love that one. That one is perfect. All right. Now I want to add a subject to the scene. So I got this cute little woodland fox, and I just need to remove the background. Well, right here, contextual taskbar. Again, that is my new best friend in Photoshop. We will just feather this out a little bit all of those selection adjustments right there for you. You don't need to go hunting around Photoshop for this. Again, so, so handy. Now, we don't want our fox being all alone in the forest, so let's add a friend for him. And I want to add a butterfly right here, so just making a selection there. And in generative fill, we will type butterfly and generate. Now, your selections here are just as important as what you're putting into the prompt, so you can experiment with different shapes and sizes until you get your desired result. OK, we got a cool black butterfly, Halloween vibe, super cool, love these. All right, I'm going to go with this last one that's like a good classic butterfly. You can't go wrong, and I can definitely work with that. Now, I want to add a little bit of glow and light to this and help blend it in even more. Couple different ways that I could do that. I am going to use editable gradients now out of beta, just making a nice radial gradient here. I don't want it there, I want it there. And then just simply changing the blending mode to screen. Now I can make this bigger or smaller, come in and change the color whenever I want. This is fully editable, no more swiping and deleting. I mean, that is awesome. Editable gradients, such a game changer.
put in a little bit of water, bring that up to the fox's feet, and in generative fill, let's type water with reflection. There we go. Now, if you created water from scratch, you know this is an extremely daunting task. If you know, you know, you have to do a displacement map or liquefy and blend this all in. Ah, oh, look at that reflection. It's so beautiful. Oh, that last one though. Yes, yes. I am sure we have all been in the situation where a client comes back to us and they want this to be landscape. Well, no longer thanks to Generative Expand, just click that button and it is taking a look at the layers and our water and the lighting and the fox and our adjustment preset, all these things. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh. I mean, that is awesome.